Hey you guys, welcome back. It's the long dark. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the series. It's time to, to leave Milton. So I wanted to show you that BP told me that I didn't actually lose my stuff because it was showing food and drink. When I go to all, there's the, char the coal that I put in there. I took the sticks out and the only other thing was these stones. So sticks and stones and this coal is what I had put in there. Now I'm, I'm overweight as it is right now, so I'm not gonna bother bringing this coal. I hope it doesn't mess with me later. It seems like um, coal might, might be important later. It's not charcoal, it's actual straight coal. Now it is about noon time it looks like, and just as a reminder, we, I am not going to do some of these side missions, which is the supply cache there and a uh, looks like another emergency supplies up here. And I didn't go look at this church, which is weird because it was highlighted when I got here. So that that may have been something I should should have gone and looked at was that church. It's the opposite way where we need to go. We need to actually go past the gas station and up here. Should we go look at that church? I'm just wondering because... You know what the strange thing is? I see this red... We saw this red thing here. Like this was a sign, but she was using green. And we know that she went through the bus that way, Astrid. I think... We're probably not going to come back to Milton. I, I think, I'm guessing. Um, so maybe it would be a good idea to at least check out this church down here. Um, I'm pretty heavy and I've got a lot of food and, and drink. So I'm not concerned with the food and drink. And depending on how long we're down here, we could always stop back in and sleep and get a nice, good, fresh start to the day if we need to. Oh, the church is pretty far up there. Oh, and there's wolves. Now, I thought maybe I was going to get that Lee Enfield gun from the Grey Mother, but it's just leaning there. It gives me no um, option to to actually try and take it. You can get in vehicles, it said, to avoid animals. I did see that. And you can search the glove box. I just find it... I just find it odd that the um, the church was marked when we got into town. Oh, that sounds like a pack of them over there. I don't really feel like getting into a wolf confrontation right now. I think we'll stay off to the side over here and try and avoid at all costs. Now, wow, you know what I was just thinking of? What if some of those... What if some of those prisoners made their way up here? This might not be... This might not have been a good idea. This... Either it's going to be a total waste or I could... Could die. Those prisoners may have made their way up here. Right, church. St. Christopher's Church. I should probably take a look at what I have. It. I'm not carrying any wood. I got a bunch of matches. Too bad you can't combine these things. Kind of drive me nuts. I guess they're t they stack at 12. Some are wood matches, some aren't. <sighs> I'm just wondering if I should... I've got those newspaper bundles. If I can, if I need to find a, a fire, I'll do sticks. A cotton I too. Use this. Now I think I have one. I have a wool toque. Now, those are fleece. I have something better than fleece already. Okay, we got a campfire. We got matches. Accelerant. I'll take that. Another flare, a bedroll, a little granola. Somebody was here. Some somebody was here. I'm not burning the. I'm not burning the Bible. Sorry. 
It is with heavy heart that I inform you that the archdiocese decision to withdraw me from St. Christopher's Parish due to lack of activity. There have been no other more few in the recent years. Dedication of church support efforts here will not be forgotten. Henceforth, services will be available via Skype only. You go to church via Skype, huh? Continued Latin lessons also. Okay, well, if you feel like doing Latin over Skype, there you go. So this was a... Uh, this was a bust. I'm just gonna go. Oh, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say this was a bust. Thank goodness. Let's drink it. Oh, that was delicious. That was delicious. All right, we have some cloth we could rip up there. It's kind of a bust coming up here, but eh, like I said, I. You never know. We're in a story mode, and for me to completely ignore it. Now we went from here to here. If we want that, look how far that is around to go to that. And you have to come all the way back around the other way. And I'm already, I'm already chock-a-block full. Like, literally, I'm at 76.25 of 77, okay? I figured I would be using up, you know, food and water along the way. Um, so, that's... Maybe I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a loot hoarder. If you, those of you know me, I'm a loot hoarder, all right? The climbing rope added 11 pounds. That was really my, kind of my, um, you know, what do you call that? Your little grace, your little, your little buffer of, of weight that I can work with. But that 11 pounds there. And then if I do end up finding a rifle, that, that's going to be pretty heavy too. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Would like, if I should be carrying as much food as I have. And not no. Here's the here's the simple truth of it. As I'm traveling, I want to be have as much as I I can, right? It's a survival situation. Once I get to a place where like this, Milton is a good example where I had to go around and do a bunch of different things. You can obviously store the bulk of your stuff. So as you come across new things, you can pick it up. Then you can evaluate that later if it's something that you, you know, you figure out which thing is more important to to keep with you. So, all right. It's still, we're still doing good on time. As far as that little icon goes, it's showing the sun is probably 12.30, maybe one o'clock if that's, if that's the angle, if I'm reading the angle right. So we might as well keep pushing on because even if I go in now, you'd have to sleep almost like two and a half times. It's weird. I don't know. 12 hours and 12 hours seem like 24 hours to me, but I don't know. It's it's a little bit weird. And sleeping that long, it's not, it's not good for your health. So we did... I think we covered all the buildings here. Got everything... I think we got everything that we needed out of this Milton town. You know, like I said, the only the only thing I, I've left behind is that coal. I mean, I don't know. I, I know that in survival mode, there's forges. And in the forges, you need... It's either coal or charcoal to actually have the heat high enough for you to forge something. Uh, I don't know if that's a necessity in this or not. So at almost four pounds worth of coal, I passed up on it. All right, so here's the gas station. If we revisit that map. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and take off. We'll take off to the right. Oh, there's a wolf right there. Just in case. Did I get rid of that? Didn't I have a marine flare? A uh, a blue flare? I may have gotten rid of it. I didn't. I didn't quite see an option for that. No. I may have gotten rid of that flare. The flares are kind of heavy. They're not light. All right, it looks like possibly going up through that thing in front of us there. <clears throat> There's a sign. We're, you see the difference from like the first episode when we were absolutely not equipped for the weather? Versus now, like, look at my temperature. All right, so it says a trail is up here. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like the road veers off somewhere over there, possibly. 
We're looking for a climbing location. The bunny rabbits. That could be where the road tailors off. I have to keep checking this. So it's possible I need to go around this thing. I don't know what it looks like. Um, in Green Hell, there was a... Uh, what? There's a cabin up here. In Green Hell, there was like a log hanging over the, um, the edge. So it possibly could look like that. What is this little place up here? Now, the reason I'm holding the flare out is, again, it's supposed to be able to scare off wolves. All right, so there's no door in this place. All right, let's take that so we have it. We have sodas, papers, a fleece cowl. This now, is, is it possible that that fits in one of those accessory sections? No, and no. Oh, but it is way better than this thing. This is a cotton toque and Mackenzie's toque. So if you look at this, this thing is way better. And it's it's lighter, too. Wear that thing. And then let, Obviously, as a necessity, I'm going to get rid of this guy. I'm just going to drop it. I'm just going to drop it. And there's nothing else that I have that I'm not wearing. A lot of soda and stuff in here. Is that a flare shell? Maybe someday I'm gonna get a flare gun. I've got, I found some different shells. Could end up being useful. Emergency stem and a bandage. All right, now I just went overweight again. All right, the quickest way is to eat something. Let's look at our weight. So water is still. Drink that up. And I'm going to actually eat the granola bar because it makes you thirsty. 81%. We'll eat that thing. Go back to the top and drink some more water. That takes us just under my sprained ankle affliction risk. I hate to pass it up, but, you know, again, I've got so much food and water. This is climbing area. Okay. So this is where the Grey Mother's daughter was finding different... I don't know if she was just an adventurer or finding different ways in and out of town. But it looks like this may be it right here. Hence the sign. Okay. We're right at it. Now, how do we climb? Do we tie it... Deploy mountaineering rope. I have a bad feeling I'm never going to see this place again. Well, that's a good indication in story mode that um, you're not coming back, so. Oh, shoot. Please don't fall. I don't think. I think the rope's gone. I think I'm going to lose 11 pounds worth of weight right now. Cue epic music. I feel like. Why? Why did I just fall? What the hell? I guess that rope was older than it looked. Okay, I, I got a, I got a bruised affliction. Find your way through the mountains. All right, here's. This was the way through where the bus was. Okay, we're trying to get around this big mountain. We are over here, so we've got to work. It looks like if we can get down this way. No, it's got to be around here and this way. All right. But first, I, I'm hurt. Oh, I'm not hurt. It said I got a bruised rib affliction. And look, we lost that 11 pounds. We lost that 11 pounds worth of rope, which is good, because then I can collect uh, wood when I need it. Look at that. There's a frozen lake down there. This here is the giant mountain that the tunnel goes through. So we're probably going to have to work our way down to that lake and around, I bet. We'll keep an eye on the time. We're still doing good on, on daytime. 
as soon as it's we start to either get cold or we think it's time to sleep, I guess start collecting firewood at that point. Climbing area. All right, wait a minute. I lost my rope. It's up there and it broke. Climbing area. Uh, does it look like there's a fire going up there already? We're supposed to meet maybe some more NPCs, I believe. We got a little little deer action here. There's a dude here. And there's a little red thing right there. Hey, brother. Hey, it's Methuselah! Wait a minute, hold on. Hold the phone. Methuselah was the dude in the gas station. How did he get around? Is he gonna... Are we gonna ask him that? So, we meet again. What up, Methuselah? This what you do? Hang around campfires and share wisdom? These are confusing times. She said it. Let me see if I can help you make sense of them. I am an old man. I've seen many things. Some would say too many. I've seen this happen before. We've sinned. Now we're paying the price. Are you talking about religion? Not religion. Redemption. Is this about the lights in the sky? The lights in the sky are a reckoning. The wonder of humanity and all its creations laid bare. Her warnings went unheeded. Whose warnings? Mother Nature's. The signs were there for those willing to see them. This has all happened before. Soon we'll all be tested. We'll have to choose how far we'll go to survive. What do you mean, this has happened before? Big change is coming. Are you ready to face it? I'm no hero. I'm just looking for someone. Doing my best to survive in the meantime. Perhaps. Yet you take the role of the avenging angel. Choosing who will live and who will die. Avenging angel? What? You talking about the convict? How do you know about that? Was it easier to do it? Thinking nobody would ever know. The guy was a killer. If I let him go, he'd have killed again. Or worse. I did the world a favor by putting him down. You might have. But die by the sword could be a tough philosophy for a civilization that's just been undone. Look, we've lived through lots of power outages, and the thing is, the lights always come back on. You might dispel the darkness at times, but the light is never coming back. Good luck, old man. Enjoy your apocalypse. You keep your luck, stranger. I have a feeling you're going to need it. Oh, that's kind of threatening sounding. He's questioning the fact that I killed Hobbs, right? Well, whatever, dude. That's what I gotta say about that, is whatever. Alright, so... Alright, we did end up coming down this way. Oop. I'm out of here. I'm not staying with him. It is getting a little bit late. And there was that, that meat there, which would have been good to eat. But, again, I've got a lot of food. I don't really... I'm not going to sit here and dry hides for, like, five days. So, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm thinking that might be a cliff leading down to that lake. I see another sign here. Climbing area. There's a cave. Oh, there's a rope right there. Okay. So, possibly this rope will lead us where we need to go. Should we check this cave? Or there might be a bear in here. 
There's some, looks like sleeping pads in there. Is that a snake? What is that? Wood? Somebody was chilling in here. Wonder if this is any good to eat. I think I still have my bed roll. I still have my bed roll. All right, so this would be a place you could stay the night, but I, I still think we have enough daylight to keep going. There's a rope there. So is Methuselah, po is it possibly he's like an aberration? He's like a, he's a figment of my imagination? Um, a semi-philosophical religious type figure? I mean, the name alone, Methuselah, right? Alright, please don't fall this time, dummy. You, you actually exhaust your... Look at my... Stamina's exhausting. Always dreaded in games where I'm climbing something and I exhaust my stamina and I fall because of it. Alright, well... We made it to here yet. Out of the tree, huh? So if... If her, if it was Lily, right? Her name was Lily. So if, if the Grey Mother's daughter, Lily, wow, she was quite the adventure. If this was some, some place that she found or that she went around and did stuff, this is, this is pretty brave. I wonder what, what ended up killing her though. Yeah, I gotta just keep in mind about firewood. When I start to get close, basically, I, I still think we got some time. I'm gonna say it's like two o'clock right now. Actually, that's not true because when it hits the three o'clock position, the moon is coming up. So that thing's not like a clock. I would say maybe it's more like five or four o'clock in the in the winter time. So there's another. Yeah, there's the crows flying over that. That's something you could eat. This doesn't get me wet here. You know, you don't never want to get wet, whether it be from water or sweat, in a situation like this, because whoa, does your temp drop? Hyperthermia. So you can eat these. You can eat those thingies. I guess if you didn't do like a really good job of uh, <laughs> stealing everyone's food like I did, then uh, you might you might be gnawing on that stuff along the way. There's little, some cattail here and there. You ever seen these things? Like, they're they're weird. They're like furry brown things, so then it, when they... Later on, you could hit them, and they, boom! They block those... You know what I'm talking about? Cottontails. Cattail? Cottontail? Cattail? Are those two different things? Whatever. They're... I used to call them toolies. They always re reside in, like, rivers and at the edge of lakes. Hopefully we're going the right way. It, it seems like the right way. So we really need. Could you imagine going to this in real life, seeing this stuff? Oh, there's a cave. I was gonna say. Oh, is that the road? There's the road right there, and a bridge. There's. Okay, so we're seeing the other side of the tunnel. We're looking down, right down here somewhere, which is the other side of that tunnel. So let's get in this cave. Oh, we're leaving the Milton region. Okay, cool. So we got a transition. So in the survival mode, they have transitions like that as well, where you, you're you transitioning out of one region to another. Now, it's getting a little bit late, so I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna start grabbing some sticks because I do have... I'm losing a little bit of my weight uh, capacity. <laughs> Excuse me, because I'm getting, I'm past halfway on the tired mark. There's something else you need to keep in mind. You guys see in here? I could whip out the torch. I don't... No, you can see. There's a light up here. Mm -hmm. 
I think before I leave this cave, I'll sleep in here. If, as long as there's no bears. What if there's a bear in here? Oh, shoot. Oh, this is a dead end. Thank you. Thank you. I always get, uh, I always have this feeling like I always want to double back and check an area like that. I'm always thankful when it's a dead end, like pretty quick. So then I know. All right, this is going to take five minutes to break down. I got to make sure I keep an eye on, on how long some of these tasks are going to take. I tend to, uh, <laughs> I tend to, um, just click on it without looking, and then I end up starving and losing my well-fed perk, which is bad, which will be bad. That's my plus 11 pound perk. Now, I, I realize it's getting really dark now. There you can see a little bit. Now, we're going up, and it looked like we needed to go down, so sure what the deal with that is. Five minutes, 17 calories. We're just about ready to have to sleep anyway. I do have my lantern on me, you guys. That's why I keep talking about the, the light. I'm looking over. It's pretty dark in here, but it gives you the, the feeling of ambiance. All right, hopefully this is a dead end. Well, there's a little you know what, maybe we should make our fire pit here. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's make our fire pit here. Let's see, number four. All right, 70% chance with that. 70, 70, 75. Let's try and start it. I could use some, um, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna use some lighter fluid. I will use lighter fluid like it's my job. Come on, baby, you can do it. I've got the skills to start fires. All right, good, now that let's, right off the bat, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the fuel. I have a coal and we're gonna put all these sticks on here. Hopefully it doesn't go out. All right, we're gonna need to sleep. I'm gonna sleep for 12 hours. I'm just gonna double check on, I've got, these all will give me liquid. This is tomato soup, so that'll give me liquid, liquid, liquid. So I got plenty of liquids, as well as, I gotta finish this can off here, huh? That's cool. And that should have given me this can here, which I have my pot with me. And the pot is two and a half, almost two and a half pounds, right? All right. Uh, let's see. What else do we need to do before I sleep? How about we... I'm going to take a look at those peaches again. These things are... They're pretty heavy. I'm gonna eat another can of these right now. Now I've got a can opener, right? I have a can opener, so it's, I'm getting the most out of the can that I can instead of bashing it open. So that should have left me some, or did I eat that whole thing? Oh, I ate that whole thing, all right. Now I just saved. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. What I'm concerned about is the whole 12 hour thing that I'm going to be without the fire. And it's probably like 5 p.m., 6 p.m. It's it's going to be dark outside. Do you think it matters? I'd like to sleep back here behind the fire. I can't. All right. When we wake up, it's gonna be pitch black. The fire's gonna go out. I almost hit pickup again. Sleep, all right. I'll whip out the lantern, that way you guys can see. If I, I'm sure I brought the lantern with me. All right, so first things first, let's drink some water. 
I'm getting this weight down right now on the water just so um, all right food wise let's see I'm gonna look for something let's eat some nuts and stuff another one of those all right now let's get our lantern going and get out of here Oh, I need to pick up my bedroll. All right, I picked up my bedroll. I'm leaving that flare. Uh, maybe I should pick up the flare. That'll come in handy. And then I'm gonna leave the can there. All right, let's try and get out of here. If I need to place down a bed to make it, let's see. No, see, it's right about the time we went to sleep, so that wasn't too bad. It's like we were pretty close to the end of this tunnel, our cave. I like the lantern effect, that's pretty cool. It's, that's outside, all right. Leave the cave. Oh shoot! What the deuce? I didn't get to do that. That was all. Our heartfelt thanks to those players who supported Kickstarter. Oh, okay. So that was the end of the first episode, meaning the first out of three episodes that are made. And I have the other two available. So I guess this is going to be a short video. I didn't realize that, you guys. Sorry, I, I get left you, kept you around as I slept through the night. So please join me in the next video where we're going to start the second episode in this new area. Obviously, it looks like we may get access to a gun. We may have to fight some bears. So if you guys want to do that, hit the like button, comment down below, and I'll see you then.